everybody, welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today I have this new pile of epic WWE figure fix-ups. Mostly fix-ups, I wouldn't call these customs. I mean, I guess you could call them customs, but they are a fix-up. It's just a bunch of parts switching and ish like that. But I'm very, very excited to show you guys some of these because um, I don't think I've seen them before and I am, uh, I'm just happy to show them. I love doing the fix-up thing. One of my favorite things about the WWE action figure hobby and community is fix-ups. I love how you can take parts of one figure, switch them up, do a little swap of the doodly diddly diddly da. Calm down, diddly 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 diddly. They did their best, shoddly diddly diddly diddly. Gotta be nice, hostility diddly diddly diddly. Ah, hell, diddly ding dong crap! And pretty much Frankenstein effort, and you can pretty much make a brand new figure and make the figure look ten times better. So I think that is so cool. That's my favorite thing about the hobby. So with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So the first figure you'll see right here, guys, is this gold dust. And I know you're thinking, MDT, why the hell would you fix up a gold dust? Well, the, the thing is, is if you guys know the Elite 47.5 or the Elite 47B, whatever you want to call it, um, that figure, I it's one of my least favorite head scans, I think, ever. And I'm going to show it to you right now. Look at this head scan. This is what it used to look like. I found this random gold dust basic in my uh, one of my bins. It was uh, a bin that I keep all my loose basics in, and I just was going through it wondering what I had. And I found this gold dust head, and I was like, my God, wouldn't that look good on the Elite? And by God, does it look good on the Elite? Um, look at this head scan, and then look at this. I think this is way more likeness to gold dust. It really just fits the figure way better. I love the eye paint going on. And um, if you're wondering, it still does fit the wig. Um, the wig's a bit large, obviously, but you know, if you're not, as long as you're not shaking it an ish, it's going to stay on there. So I'm very excited about this gold dust fix up. Um, easily, just a very simple fix up, but I think it made the Elite 47B uh, gold dust a whole lot better. So we have that gold dust right there. The next figure that we do have is this Elite Big E. This is the Elite 52 Big E. I switched the lower arms with a random basic Big E that I found in the same fodder bin that I found this gold dust in. So sometimes, guys, you need to just go through. If you have a bunch of random figures, go look at them and look at your Elites and see how you can improve. If one's missing wrist tape, if a head skin's not right, go through your fodder bin or your basic bin, and you may find a figure that you could switch with. So... That's what I did right here. I switched the lower arms and I also touched up the wrist tape that was black because uh, there was a bit of a chipping on that one. And then I had to paint the shoulder. You, you may can tell. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I did have to paint the shoulder because there were some uh, like scuffs on the Big E shoulder for some reason. I guess like doing this right here, it must have rubbed somewhere along the line. But um, I'm happy to have black wrist tape on this Big E now. And I'm, um, I don't know, it looks way better now. So we got the black wrist tape on the Big E. The next fix up we have is this Elite 24 Dolph Ziggler. And what I did was switch the head scan with, you know, that stupid like Nikki expression. It's like the screaming head scan. It also had the really jacked arms on there. Not much of anything. I did switch the Elite 39 head scan and then some smaller arms on there. It's just a lot better looking for Dolph Ziggler. They made him way too jacked. This torso works for him because, you know, he, he's in shape. However, I think these arms are way more accurate. So the Dolph Ziggler is looking way better. Um, however, on the back, he does have some scuffages that I'm going to have to do a WWE action figure bath to get those off. But I will probably do that later on. So I do still have to give the man a bath. However, he is looking a lot better than he did before. So that goes back there. The next fix up that we have, guys, is this Matt Hardy. I took my SummerSlam Elite Matt Hardy, obviously the one in the white pants with the V1 shirt. He is also the Matt Hardy that we got with the, uh, you know, the interchangeable hands, the first figure that we got with interchangeable hands. And I switched it from this head scan to the hair down head scan. I just think it looks a lot better. So, um, I don't know. Tell me down in the comment section below. I just think uh, I have another Matt Hardy SummerSlam Elite, so I figure why not switch this one since I had two of them. You know, you don't want two of the figures that look identical. So, went ahead and switched it on, and I also touched up the eyebrows and the beard and the hair because it had a little bit of chipping in there. And so I did that. So we have this Matt Hardy version 1, and it looks beautiful now. Can't wait to use this in the future. The next figure that we have, guys, is this Elite, uh, is it 61 Shane McMahon? We have the Elite 61 Hell in a Cell attire Shane McMahon where he fought Kevin Owens. And this Shane McMahon had this terrible head scan on it that was pretty much like a throwback Shane McMahon. This looks like a younger Attitude Era, early 2000s Shane McMahon. This is the head that came on the figure, and I switched it with a random Battle Pack Shane McMahon head scan because because it was in my fodder bin. Again, I was just looking through my fodder bin, found this head scan, and was like, geez, that would look a lot better on the Hell in a Cell and make it a lot more accurate. 
So I went ahead and popped it on there. If I ever get the ringside exclusive chain, I'm gonna probably paint the rest of this hair black, get those gray touches out of there, and then pop this head scan on the ringside exclusive. I think this head scan looks a lot like a young Shane. I, I don't know, is that me? Or uh, comment down in the comment section below, guys, if you think this looks like a young Shane man. I just think this looks better for a younger guy. So I went with the gray-haired Shane for the Hell in a Cell Shane to fix that up. So it looks a lot better now, a lot more accurate. And we're moving on from Hell in a Cell Shane McMahon. Next up, we have my boy, Joseph Cena. And this right here is pretty much a basic to elite conversion. I took the uh, Royal Rumble Heritage Basic. It's one that was released a long, long time ago from where John Cena won the 2008 Royal Rumble, as you guys can see by the Hustle Loyalty Respect armbands and the, uh, you know, the dog upper armband right there. I took one of my extra Elite 7 John Cena's. I have a bunch of those. I have 96 or so total John Cena Elites. So I took one of my extra ones, popped the arms off of the Royal Rumble Basic, put it over here. Had to touch up the black a bit because it is an older figure, so it had a little bit of chipping. And then just switched the arms over there. And then this head scan was already on there. It looked a lot more brand new than this one. This one's all beat up, just like the figure is. And bam, you have a uh, defining moments, pretty much, John Cena from where he returned at the 2008 Royal Rumble and won. And if you guys know, on my John Cena timeline collection over across the room, I have the moment where he returned to the Rumble at the beginning, you know, when he came out at number 30. And then I guess since I have a 2013 Royal Rumble winner John Cena that's shirtless on the shelf, I might as well go ahead and add the 2008 Royal Rumble winner John Cena Elite to the shelf. So I'll probably stick this up there next to the return John Cena so that it will fill up that timeline a little bit more. So we do have the John Cena fix up. The next fix up we have is a Elite Edge, and this head scan, guys, looks so much better. This is the Elite One Edge. I put this random head scan on here because look at this one. My God, this one's just awful. I cannot stand this head scan. Um, the Hall of Fame Edge Target Exclusive has this head scan, but it's repainted. It looks a lot better. And this one just has some paint chipping, and it just doesn't look right. I like this one. You know, it's more of a pissed-off look. It doesn't have the best likeness to Edge. I just like this one a lot better than his other head scans because Edge is a natural heel. He's a lot better as a heel, so I want my Edges to have, you know, a pissed-off looking face. So we do have uh, sort of like a black Spider-Man 3 movie uh, attire going on. That's what it sort of reminds me of here, but that is the Elite Edge fix-up. Moving on, we have a uh, quadruple fix-up right here, guys. We have the two Uso figures, and you guys can tell that I did take the Elite 54 Usos that I had that we fixed up on WWE Action Figure Surgery where we made our Bloodline Roman Reigns. I took my two extras and I switched the shoes with the brand new Elite 64 Usos, so now the Elite 54 are in all white attire looking absolutely fresh to death. I love the way this came out. The white shoes fully complete the thing. You remember they were red, so I did completely switch those, so now we have an all white Usos attire. And then I took my fix-up, you know, I bought two Jimmy Usos so that I can make these fix-ups possible. And um, now I have my Bloodline Usos in all red from head to toe. And then we have my all-white Usos. The Both the jackets with the bandanas and the, uh, the joggers and the shoes, guys. I mean, my God, if I could get, you know, these jackets but with white... Um, or white bandanas to go on these guys, or even black bandanas would look epic with these. But let me know down in the comment section right now which Uso set you like better. You like the all white here? I know I got to get some white wrist tape arms for this Jimmy, um, so I will be getting that done very, very soon. However, um, I still think it's a fresh set of Usos here. And um, or do you like the all red better? Let me know down in the comment section below which ones you like better. I am in love with both of them. I think they're both great, and I'll probably end up using both of them in the future. But we do have both sets of Usos all white and all red and then the final figure that we have in this video guys is one of my favorite fix-ups I think I've ever seen and I don't think I've ever seen this I think I've seen you know I think it was either pop vinyl um, was it pop or was it some other company that made like this little miniature Seth Rollins figurine if I can I'll pop it up on the screen for you guys and they pretty much made this exact figure, but it was like a little statue or little figure. And what I did was I took the Elite 45 Seth Rollins, I switched some Damian Mizdow arms on there that were, that were blank. You know, they're the same thing as uh, Seth Rollins' arms. I took some Rey Mysterio basic wristbands and gloves and popped them on there. And Wallabushka, you have a beautiful looking... Seth Rollins gloved attire, but it is the 2015 SummerSlam attire where he fought John Cena. I think this is so beautiful. I love the way this came out. Um, the white gloves look absolutely amazing. Um, they may be a bit small, but I don't think they look that bad. I think that it ties in perfectly with it, and uh, I, I love it. I love the way it came out. You guys know my favorite color is white, so I am marking out for this Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins one of my favorites, 
and um, I think that we completed here. So we got the all-white Usos and the all-white Seth Rollins. Let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think of the all-white Seth. So it's pretty much like his 2014-15 run when you know when he broke off away from the shield, he started wearing the gloves with the kick pads and the tights. And um, he didn't wear gloves at SummerSlam 2015, so it's basically like if he were to wear the gloves, this is what he would have looked like. But I am in love with this fix-up. I don't like, the, I mean, I like the head scan, but it's not my favorite Seth Rollins head scan just because we've seen it so many times. But I'm still in love with the Seth Rollins fix-up here. So let me know down in the comment section below, guys, what you thought of all the fix-ups. Which is your favorite? Do you like the Seth Rollins the most? Um, if you liked one of these other fix-ups the most, let me know down in the comment section below. But, um... I was just doing a ton of part switching yesterday, so I was just like, you know what, this is a good time to uh, show some fix-ups off. But thank you guys so very much for watching. Comment down below again your favorite uh, fix-up from this video. Also, let me know which set of Usos you like better. Do you like the red or do you like the white? Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.